yesterday morning I woke up at 4 a.m. hearing a strange noise into my room and my roommate is away for the weekend so I quickly called I thought it was my friend then I called the name Luando and then he didn't answer then I jumped out to turn on the lights and open the door when I opened the door I was reaching there was a glass of vase in my room I was reaching for it and then someone came into my room and said don't hit him just make a video and report him then when I reported the matter, the prims didn't take their matter seriously. They just said they are going to deal with it in the morning, which is today, Monday. And then the SASCO wrote a message to the prims, and then that's when the prim reported the matter to the house father. We all understand our facts when we are speaking or we are reporting something because even the whole HC of his marriage is white. Yesterday when we spoke the fact, they said we are disrespecting, it's a democratic, we have to vote. Even if it's a democratic, it's not a democratic because there is a minor votes and major votes and they are too many. So even if we elect someone and we vote all of us, we won't get the position, he won't get the position. It was traumatizing and I feel like my dignity was taken away. I would, I would forgive him because he's also like being traumatized enough now to add more stress to him. My father said I must lay criminal charges but I said to him, yeah, it's already enough now. You must also think he's also someone's child and the way you feel about what's happening to me, but what's this whole thing traumatizing? This thing also traumatized him now. You can like lay alone now. And he said, yes, I recorded what was happening. And then in the end, he walked out. But then I asked him to say, what, why, why, I, why, why did you do this on my material? And he says, the guy just said, that is what we white guys do. And then he left. And so he said he was left, he couldn't understand what had just happened. So when I called him, I could sense in his voice and he said he's still trying to process what had just happened and he's in pain and I requested him to, to allow himself to be in counselling process and debriefing because, uh, you know, with time this is just going to set. No student should diminish another student to, to, to nothing uh, uh, in that way and, and also, uh, I mean, as, as, as Division Student Affairs, we normally say every student counts. And, and human dignity of every student need to be respected, to be uh, restored and also maintained. It's very important to make sure that every student feels a sense of belonging.